GTA 6 is getting announced this week. That's according to gaming journalist Jason Schreier, which is a story corroborated by Rockstar Insider and Enthusiast has fun too as well. Now I'm sure you're just waiting for something official from Rockstar, especially after this October, because you're most definitely sick and tired of seeing announcement predictions. However, this isn't necessarily a prediction. It actually is a statement of fact from one of gaming's most renowned journalists, if you still hold any form of respect for those types of people anymore. If you don't, well, perhaps this report is still worth hearing. The timing of this is quite interesting, because this article had a 9pm drop on a Tuesday night, which is quite odd for a company to be pushing major articles like this at that time. However, if this was all able to be validated tonight, then I can see the haste of Bloomberg getting this information out right away, basically as quick as they could confirm and validate it on their end. So let's talk about Jason's new report here. Rockstar Games, which is a part of the Take-Two Interactive Empire, is reportedly planning to announce GTA 6 as early as this week. And this is according to sources within Rockstar who are close to the matter, obviously, but of course they aren't officially cleared to discuss anything like this, so they're leaking it. And despite their need for anonymity here, the hype train has certainly left the station, and it's clear many people are already on board. Now, the company does seem to have a treat in store for us as well, with plans to release a trailer for the game next month. This move isn't just to tease our insatiable appetites for some type of GTA news, it's also a nod to Rockstar's 25th anniversary, which Jason points out in his article. Now, a huge milestone that is for sure, and it seems like it's going to be followed up with a huge announcement for fans in regards to GTA. So now let's talk about the impact of this. GTA 5 obviously isn't just a game here, it's a cultural phenomenon. Ten years later, with over 185 million copies sold, it's second to only Minecraft in all-time sales charts. That's right. Like I said, it's not just a game release we're talking about here. This was a landmark event in entertainment, and now with GTA 6 in the pipeline, we're looking at what could be another redefining entertainment release of the decade. Rockstar, of course, isn't just focused on games either. They've been under the microscope for their work culture recently with Red Dead Redemption 2 because they had some tough times with that with employee burnout during the creation of the game, and they've been doing some soul searching and they've dedicated themselves, at least that's what they've said, to fostering a healthier work environment for their employees. So that should be a win for everyone, for the devs, to the gamers, basically everyone. But last year, the gaming world was rocked by a huge leak. It was actually a network intrusion that had early footage of GTA 6, and that was teased to everyone. Rockstar was pretty quick to contain the situation, I'd say at least quick to confirm that it was real, and they assured that fans that the real introduction of the game would come when it is polished and ready. And maybe we're right at that point. If these rumors are true, then that time is almost upon us. And so with Take-Two set to report earnings this Wednesday, all eyes will be on any hints or confirmation about GTA 6. So I'd love to know what you think about this revelation. Are you hyped? Are you just sitting on the sidelines? Are you rolling your eyes? Or do you hardly care at all anymore? Now, personally, I do enjoy looking into any sort of details or possible leaks for upcoming games once they're already announced and the release date is fast approaching and the marketing for that particular game is starting to ramp back up because there's already a lot of details and information available to go off of but so far, since GTA 6 quite literally still is not announced at the time of me posting this video, that we just know that a new GTA is on the way, there's not much to speculate on, at least since the leaks from September 2022 became old news. So, I do find this next point very funny here. For everyone who is excited, and has been for some sort of reveal, I'd love to know what you think about this. Regardless of whether anything GTA 6 gets revealed, announced, or teased this week, do you recall the don't believe anything from anyone but Rockstar crowd? You know, the same people that you heard all October shoot down your excitement over and over and over for any sort of detail or leak that you were talking about? Whether it was real or not, it doesn't matter. Well, they jumped on this story with the quickness. Speculation for thee, but not for me, I guess, right? I thought the English language meant something. Like when you proclaim statements from the rooftop that you demand everyone abide by, it's probably because you wholeheartedly believe it yourself, right? I guess not though, clearly. Anyways, drop your thoughts in the comments below because obviously this conversation is just getting started. In fact, even after this supposed announcement here, we're still gonna have a long time to go until we finally get our hands on the game itself so that we could play it, but this could finally be the beginning of an official news cycle for the soon to be confirmed Grand Theft Auto title. So with all that said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to my channel and you wanna stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. 
We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. We'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.